Hey, what is up guys? Uh, the one thing I wanted to say before this tutorial actually starts is that the fact that, uh, my, the Minimator, it doesn't show, like, when I go into the menus and stuff, and when I open up my personalization, which I talk about later in the video, it doesn't actually show it to you. So hopefully you guys can actually just follow along with what I'm saying, and if you really want, really quickly, a uh, better explanation of what goes on later in the video, in order to fix this mostly, if you can do it without actually all of the information that I do, and if you don't have to follow along with every step, is what you have to do is go into personalization, which you can get from going from start menu, control panel, personalization, and then, or you can just go to your desktop, right click and click personalization, and then after that, go ahead and click on themes, which is the, it should be the second one up from the bottom. And when you get to themes, you're going to have to go ahead to that drop-down menu that you see. And I'm actually going to go to that now, so it's a little bit easier for me to explain. And when you go to themes, you're going to have to go to the drop-down menu. Choose Windows Classic, because it works. Go ahead and click Apply. And then after that's done, it's just going to change your everything and how it looks and everything. And actually, I know my Minecraft's lagging in the background, but it's not what you guys are watching. And go ahead and click Windows Classic, and after it's done, go ahead and click OK. Uh, go ahead and re-render your guys' videos. And do exactly what you did originally. The save as, name it whatever you want, dot .avi. Make sure you use uh, Windows, what is it, the Player 1 or something along those lines. I'll actually look really quickly just to make sure I'm telling you guys the right thing. Uh, it's actually under Microsoft Video One, so go ahead and choose that. And after you're done with that, it should work. Uh, if you need a little bit, if you need a visual with it, go ahead and watch the rest of this video because it goes into the actual visual of kind of what you have to do. And I hope you guys enjoy. If this did work, make sure you leave a comment. If not, go ahead and comment as well. I just want to know kind of how many of you guys it worked for and how many it didn't. And if it didn't, go ahead and inbox me and I'll try my best to help you guys figure out exactly what's going on. So, without further ado, here is the actual tutorial itself. Hey, what is up everyone? Um, today I'm going to be helping you with the black screen fix on Minimator. I know this isn't one of my usual videos where I'm doing like a Pixelmon Let's Play or something, but as I was going through this yesterday, I found out that I was getting an error that a lot of you guys are getting, and when I searched the internet for a solution, I couldn't find one. So... What I'm going to do today is help you guys fix it because it's probably a problem that a lot of you are having that no one was really able to help you with, but this one should work for you. Okay, so this is actually take two of this. The first one didn't record me at all because I, on Fraps I turned off record uh, from the mic, so I have to redo it, but it's not a big deal. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my animation that I made yesterday, my very first animation, because I found this program and I just wanted to have a little bit of fun building it, and I actually had a lot of fun making my little animation of me and my dog, Lucky. But let's let this load, and I'll show you guys exactly what's going on. Now, a lot of people on YouTube, when they post these kind of videos, or at least for the Mindimator, um, what they had is they had the, they didn't get the black screen error, yet you guys did, and they tried to help you with it, but they don't know what you're going through, so that's kind of an issue that they can't really help you with if they don't know what the problem is. I, on the other hand, did have the problem, so I will probably be able to help you guys a little bit better because I know what's wrong. So as you can see here, up at the little settings tab, I have everything normal. I just changed my quality to very high because I prefer 
a high quality video instead of a medium <laughs> excuse me medium which it set it automatically okay so this is just kind of a little animation that I made yeah we'll just watch it for a second um it's my very first animation I just wanted I was just bored so I wanted to make something and I think it's somewhat decent uh it's just kind of me and my dog lucky and as you can see there he's licking my face on that little slobber okay so now that that's done um so what you'll do sorry I'm saying um I don't even know why and what we <laughs> I almost said it again and we'll export it as a movie like a lot of you I'm sure oops tried to do I'm just gonna re center that uh there it is again and we'll just save this one as test and I'm doing this one just kinda to show you guys cuz this one will get the error that all of you guys have and choose the codec to use these will differ depending on what's installed on your computer blah 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 you guys have probably already read that don't choose unco uncompressed um there it is again I don't know why I'm catching myself at least okay so what I recommend everyone use is Microsoft Video 1 if you have it otherwise uh, just go on go online and get it it should be free so it's not that big I'm not gonna mess with any of this right here it's not really important for now and we'll just click OK the program will now start running through your animation and save it now a problem that some of you guys might be getting is right here do not exit or minimize my my animator during this process you can see the progress at the top of the window so we aren't going to mess with it we're just gonna let it run through this animation right now it's kinda short at the top of the screen where it says exporting as and then your name dot avi it'll tell you the percentage done and how many seconds left uh, it's already at 43 percent so it shouldn't be that bad 15 seconds left so as soon as this is done I'll go into the file and show you guys exactly what happened to my video uh, 90% now and we should be just about done okay so do one thing I cannot stress enough you cannot minimize or close that window until this pops up AVI save do you want to open it now it's easy to click yes and it's it's actually not going to affect it you can go ahead and click yes I'm just going to click no because I have the file open I just want to show you guys that's right here in my my animator folder my test.avi and now let's watch my animation oh that that's not good where did my animation go where did lucky go I don't even know where I am so as you can see black screen that's a big no no that's not what you want and I know that because otherwise you probably would not be watching this video so I'm gonna go ahead and close the media player and do the solution that I found that works so if I minimize this now because it's done rendering and everything I can minimize it go to the desktop and there's a lot of crap here um, this is kind of a shared computer my brother has like all kinds of stuff just kinda of floating around here and we are going to go to personalize themes and now you can see that I have a modified theme on that's not what you're going to want. What you're going to want to do is click on Windows Classic and apply. Now what this is going to do is change just kind of how everything looks on your desktop. And this is only temporary. You can definitely, I am, because I don't like what Classic looks like. But you can switch it back as soon as you're done rendering. But for some reason, when you go to Windows Classic theme, it will work at least for me anyway and I'm sure a lot of you guys it hopefully cross my fingers this will help you because that's what I'm here to do so we're just gonna click OK go back in uh, my animator do exactly what we did last time I'm not gonna change at all I'm going to publish it I'm just going to change the name as test and I'm going to name it test working this time just so you can see this one will work so we're going to save it this pops up again hit OK do exactly what I did last time Microsoft Video 1 
OK. And then do not exit or minimize. Don't. OK. So we're just going to click OK. Let it go through for a second time. But there's something different that's going to happen this time. And I'm going to show you guys in just about 55 seconds because it's going really slow right now for some reason. Probably because I'm recording it too. So I actually, that's what I wanted to do originally. And that's the reason that I'm uh, redoing this recording is because originally I couldn't find the fix. Couldn't figure out what I could do to fix it. So I was just going to record it with fraps because I had nothing else to do. I was just kind of... Just wanted it. Just wanted it to be done. But I did find a solution that worked. So now we only have five seconds left, so it's just about done. My dog is wagging his tail there, and I'm petting his legs, even though my hands are kind of a little bit away from it. But whatever. Okay. So here's the window again. Go ahead, click yes if you want to. I'm just going to click no because I have the file right here. And right here. Test working. That's what I saved it as, guys. Don't freak out at all exactly what I did last time click on it oh <gasps> my animation is here how great is that guys I have it now it's not missing it's not black I can see lucky I can see me where you're gonna go run, th run through that again look at this oh lagging it's just my computer not the video look at that it works so that's really the simple fix. And now that we're done with that, I'm just going to go back into my themes. You know what I'm going to do? If it actually loads. I'm just going to switch it back because why not? That's the theme I like is... I don't want that. I don't want this. Although the only weird thing is I'm going to have to change my background again every single time. I lost my old one, but it doesn't really matter bunch of little scenery backgrounds so anyway guys i really really hope that this worked for you because i know it can be frustrating and i know a lot of you just want to see your projects work but i was the same way just yesterday and now i am like all those people that have successful projects i am extremely happy Knowing that my project saved, knowing that I can view it now, and just knowing that it is there. So, hope you guys all enjoyed this video, this tutorial, and subscribe if you want to see me on my some of my Let's Plays. I think today, what I'm going to do is start yet again another new series. I think I'm going to be dropping my moat creatures because it's not as popular as my Pixelmon series. And it's just kind of, I mean, it's fun to play. But there's not really a goal to do when you record it. So I think I'm just going to switch over to a Kanto Let's Play because I am in love with Kanto. I have been since I was a kid. It was my favorite region. And I am just totally switched topics when I was trying to end the video. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Hope that this fix worked for all of you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye.